Hello and welcome amigos. I hope you're having a lovely St. Patrick's Day. Today we're gonna to be making smothered wet burritos in enchilada suiza sauce. And if you love enchilada suizas, you're gonna absolutely love these burritos. For this recipe, you're gonna need three to four chicken breast. If you're gonna be using a rotisserie chicken, it's gonna work great for this recipe. All I did was put my chicken breast into an Instant Pot and I'll leave those directions in the description area for you. So just make sure to shred your chicken. And this is not my favorite thing to do, so I'm gonna hand this over to Cloud so that she can finish shredding her chicken for us. <laughs> You'll need two to three cups of chicken broth, burrito sized tortilla from your local market. If you wanna make these at home, I'll link a recipe in the description area for you. For your sauce, you're gonna need 10 to 12 tomatillos, half a bunch of cilantro, half a medium onion, two garlic cloves, and it's gonna be up to you to drop the spice where you need. Today I'm gonna to be using two jalapenos and half of a serrano that I had left from our previous recipe. And to season our sauce, we're gonna use one and a half tablespoons of chicken bouillon. We're gonna use three tablespoons of sesame seeds and optional, a little sprinkle of nutmeg, which would end up being about one fourth of a teaspoon, but it's gonna be up to you if you wanna use your sesame seeds and your nutmeg. For the sauce, you're also gonna need two tablespoons of butter and two to two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. If you don't have heavy whipping cream, you can use crema fresca or half and half. Last but not least, we're gonna need about three to four cups of melty cheese. To your pot of boiling water, you're gonna add your tomatillos, your onion, garlic, serrano, and your jalapeno. Continue to boil until they're nice and soft. That should be about 10 to 12 minutes. Next, you're gonna add your soft ingredients into your blender. Add your chicken bouillon, and if you don't want chicken bouillon, you can use a little bit of salt to taste. Your sesame seeds, your nutmeg, and I personally love it, so I definitely suggest it. Cilantro. chicken broth and since I want you to be in and out of the kitchen what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your heavy whipping cream into your blender and if that heavy whipping cream look chunky don't worry about it it's heavy whipping cream with a little bit of crema so if you guys see this at the story you're gonna need about four of these if this is all you're using but this one just adds a little bit of a different flavor and those are the benefits of not skipping these videos okay now we're going to blend until smooth. And boom, done! Friends, I totally forgot, but I don't want you to forget. You're going to add your butter into the blender and blend it all together when the ingredients are nice and warm, okay? That's going to cut a step for us, so don't forget to blend your butter inside the blender. I'm such a bad girl today. We're just getting chatty. Cloud is giving me some TikTok gossip, you guys. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna blend until smooth again. Take your sauce and place it at the bottom of your baking dish. Make sure that you warm up your tortillas and now you're just gonna add your desired amount of chicken. Make sure to load it up. It's a burrito. Drizzle a little bit of sauce. You can also add more cheese in here. And for those of you that have super hungry kids to feed, you can even mix your chicken with potato and it'll taste just as good. I'm gonna continue with the rest of our burritos. Hang tight. Go ahead and add your sauce. And this recipe is good for about a dozen to about 15 burritos. It's gonna depend on how you fold them and how much you fill them up. I'm getting these super wet. Yummy, yummy. Usually we thicken the sauce by cooking it before we add it to our baking dish, but this is gonna thicken up in the oven and it cuts time for you guys that are super busy and still wanna eat super delicious. Next, add your cheese. And now you're gonna place this in the oven. You're gonna bake at 380 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until you see all that sauce bubbling on the sides. For those of you that need to stretch the recipe, all I have here is about one chicken breast, one potato, half of a poblano pepper, one tomato and onions. And you can fill your wet burrito with this combination and boom bang. Then 
And that's what I mean by bubbling. Yummy, yummy, who's ready for a bite? With the remaining sauce, you can continue to cook it down and then you can place it in your freezer once it cools for a recipe that's gonna be super easy for you later on in the week. Or you can do what I'm gonna do today. I cooked it down, I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the plate and then I'm gonna serve our wet smothered burritos on top. Ooh, doesn't want to come off. <laughs> Who is excited and ready for a bite? I am. Ooh, me too. Somebody suggests that we take little bites. I'm gonna give you guys a tiny little taste today. Don't know why, but we all want a big bite. <laughs> and that's a little bite for you. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say, ah. Uh, It smells so good. And just the combination right now is making me super happy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the first bite, buen provecho. Yes, Claude got the first bite, okay? She's been super special and she deserved that bite. Thank you. Mmm. Mm -hmm. And friends, I do have a tip for you if you guys didn't see it. By me wanting to make a faster recipe so that you guys can eat good at home, I realized that our smothered burritos taste a lot better if you don't pre-cook your sauce before you add it into your baking dish like we have in the previous smothered burrito recipes. Definitely don't do that anymore even if you see those recipes. This sauce is absolutely amazing and I'm gonna dare to say it, this is my favorite and the best smothered wet burritos that I have made. I agree. Hands down, so, so good. Ooh. Mm. Yummy, yummy. I can't get enough of it. Look away. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love it if you would. And also leave us your comments, thumbs up, and follow us on all our social media. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios. Hi, you're sitting here inside the cooking studio. <laughs> With Miss Steffi Views and our camera woman has a double ear infection, but she gave us some good remedies. Here yes. we are. Thank you. Just me and my barriga here. I can't hear anything you're saying. Signal me. Give me a thumbs up. Yep, I understand that. That's correct. This is what she does on her days off. Oh wait, you don't get a day off there.